Hi, I'm Richard Solomon. I'm the Vice President of PCI SIG, and I'm here to talk to you today about automotive and PCI Express. With the advent of all these advanced driver assistance systems and autonomous driving, we're now seeing automobiles need the kind of compute power that used to be the domain of supercomputers. So in the past, PCI Express was used for kind of your traditional I.O. connects, CPU to GPU or connecting a Wi-Fi chip. But today we're seeing all of that compute performance is kind of aggregated into one place and the sensors are distributed out, but the compute's all together. And there's really three things that make PCI Express the proper interconnect to use for these advanced vehicles. The bandwidth, connectivity, and the ecosystem. And bandwidth, of course, is what you'd expect. PCI Express 3.0 has eight gigatransfers per second. We're seeing development now in the 4.0 space with 16 gigatransfers per second. PCI SIG just announced the 5.0 spec, which offers up to 32 gig. So as those compute requirements are increasing, the bandwidth goes with it. And PCI Express provides that bandwidth. The other piece of it is connectivity. So PCI Express is what's called a reliable transport mechanism, which means the hardware guarantees that the packets that are transmitted actually get to where they're going. Some of the other options that you might use in a vehicle are not where you send a packet and then the software has to take care of making sure it gets there. With PCI Express, it takes place at a hardware level, so it's nice for the developers. And then the ecosystem, of course, there's tons and tons of PCI Express devices out, everything from those Wi-Fi chips and 4G, 5G modems, and so a lot of off-the-shelf silicons available for developers to use. PCI Express is actually used in cars today, probably most commonly in things like high-end infotainment system, but as we've talked about with these ADAS, or Advanced Driver Assistance Systems, becoming more and more commonplace, it's used there as well to provide the high bandwidth links between the processors. We also see it used in things like uh, connectivity for Wi-Fi, 4G, 5G modems, those sorts of things. And even for things like NVM Express SSDs to store your navigation data or your music and movie collections, those sorts of things within the infotainment systems. So PCI Express and automotive is definitely here to stay. With the 5.0 spec, with the announcement of our new 6.0 spec, we believe PCI Express is gonna to continue to offer the bandwidth the connectivity and the ecosystem that's required to make advanced automotive platforms successful now and into the future.